It takes conviction to spend hundreds of millions of euros on a new factory in the middle of the deepest economic crisis since the 1930s. A decade ago, ASML began researching the next generation of chip-making equipment, called EUV, for the light source that it uses, extreme ultraviolet light. But the biggest investment was yet to come. The company had to take a decision on building a new production facility, even as ASML's engineers were working to prove that EUV was ready to supply the world with chips. For senior product manager Christian Wagner and his team, it was a great challenge to develop machines that could really produce chips 24-7. We have two prototypes uh, working. One is in Leuven, one is uh, in, in Albany. And our customers are working on these uh, prototypes and developing EOV and uh, proving actually that EOV is working. And uh, based on this data, we got the confidence to build a real production EOV tool. And so the big difference between the prototype and the production tool is that the production tool has to work 24 hours per day and seven days per week. What was clear was that ASML needed a new building to make this new EUV machine, a building with more space and cleaner air. The exact requirements which the clean room had to meet were only finalized when construction was already underway. Theo Bartai, senior vice president, manufacturing and planning, only had a rough idea of the building that should be constructed. By building it, uh, also, the projects came with uh, newer, newer moving targets on more electricity, more vacuum, and that uh, lasted till one month before delivery of the building. For the production of EUV machines, a much cleaner environment was necessary. Uh, the EUV machine needs a thousand times cleaner handling of contamination in the factory. It's uh, contamination by people. People is the uh, most contaminating factor in the factory. So we designed uh, new, uh, less contaminating clothing, uh, mouth cap, uh, hoods, uh, different uh, hand gloves, um, also different material of the overall. Uh, also uh, the, the requirements in the building are uh, based on stability and uh, dynamica. It's uh, no trembling, no highway impact. That's uh, basically the crux of the EV building. Even if the project itself is a bet on the future, the world economy didn't help. Six months after breaking ground for the new building, the worst recession in 70 years brought day-to-day -day business in the chip industry almost to a halt. Yeah, apparently it's uh, our destiny that uh, in downturns we have to invest heavily. To avoid uh, that infrastructure uh, would be a bottleneck, we are uh, always uh, attuning our building plans to what the market needs. And um, uh, so even if it's unpopular, we decide to do it. And so because of ASML's conviction, assembling the new EUV tools really has started. The hardware is now coming in. So, uh, and it's very exciting actually, because last year everything was uh, just drawings and paper. And now we have real hardware in this clean room floor. Crucial for EUV is the wavelength that's used. You see, the big difference between lithography as we have it today and EUV is the very short wavelength that uh, forces us to work in vacuum, which of course has a big impact on the machine. For the lens that means we have to work with mirrors instead of lens elements. And the mirrors have to be extremely flat. And uh, if you would imagine one lens would have the size of Germany, the biggest mountain would be just one millimeter. That's the accuracy that uh, the lens elements have to be polished. Customers that have seen the first EUV prototypes were impressed. Now we have currently many customers coming by and so they are all very excited about the progress we are making here. They are very impressed by the amount of hardware in the clean room and uh, they really are waiting to do their first exposures actually using real wafers here next year. Not only is EUV very challenging for ASML's engineers but also for the suppliers. We are putting a lot of uh, constraints internally on our development people but in the same aspect, we are uh, requiring and putting a lot of pressure on uh, our supply base. Uh, supply base is all over the world. For instance, uh, the light source is coming out of uh, San Diego. Uh, the radical stage is coming out of Wilton. Uh, Opelkoch is delivering uh, optical components. That's uh, a challenge to coordinate in the right way. Even when the first machines are being assembled, critical engineering work continues next door at ASML's research facilities. 
for Christian Wagner and his team, the first shipment to the customers will be a moment to celebrate. The first Ibiza will be shipped uh, mid-2010. The resolution will be 27 nanometer, and that's a big step uh, compared to today. The drive to shrink chips is inescapable. The limit of current technology hasn't been reached yet, and ASML will of course support customers as they max out the machines they have. But there's no doubt that if you want to really take it to the next level, you'll need EUV.